Hello everybody and welcome back to Circuits. My name is Emer. I am the Arts and North Down with More Coordinator and I'm going to take you through a circuit routine today. Please only take part in the circuits if you're feeling fit and well to do so. So the description box below the video, have a quick read of that before you begin. Um, you don't need any equipment or you, you can use equipment if you want in the video. Today I've just grabbed a couple of tins for added weight and a bag of rice, so care for one of the exercises. Uh, you'll also need a chair, preferably a dining room chair, uh, but again, depending on your space or what you have available, use that. Um, today's circuit is going to be 10 exercises, okay, a minute on each exercise, two minute water break in the middle, and then we're going to do all 10 exercises again, okay. So back to the sort of the format we've been doing away at the start of the videos. If you haven't done the videos before, I advise you to go back to the start of video one and work your way through, through the videos. Uh, so we're going to get warmed up um, and stuck in. I'm going to show you the 10 exercises first today. The first one we're going to do is elbow to knee. Okay, so it's going to be across the body action. Again, if you can't do this standing up, please do it sitting down. Okay. Second exercise is bicep curl and the shoulder press. Just keep the elbows tucked into the body, up to the shoulders and then above the head. If you're too much going above the head, just come up into the bicep curl. Okay. Third one is our lunges. Just static lunges, stepping forward, dropping the back knee down to the floor, backs up nice and straight, books on the head, knee doesn't need to touch the floor. Again, you can use a chair to hold it onto in front of you, okay, or the side, whatever is easiest for you. Fourth exercise is our sit-ups. So we'll sit on our chair, we'll come forward in the chair, feet flat on the floor. It's really important to keep the feet on the floor, and when we're coming backwards and forwards, not letting the feet lift up, okay. Up nice and straight, shoulders down, relaxed. Take an inhale, we're coming back to our back touches the back rest, and exhale forward. Okay, try to keep your hands on your legs, or you can cross on your chest, but try to keep those feet on the floor in our sit-ups. Next exercise is our uppercuts and lateral raises. So I'm using my weights again. We're swinging up across the body for four swings, and then lateral raises for two. Okay, so four swings, two raises. Next one, sit and stand. We'll leave your chair for this one again. Sit and down, standing up. Sit and down, standing up. We do this one in every circuit, okay? Seventh exercise is our calf raises. Both feet together, up onto the toes and down. If you need two hands, fingertips on something for balance. Up, try to hold it for a couple of breaths and back down. Eighth exercise is our upright row. I've grabbed the bag of rice again. You can use whatever weights you have in the house, but you don't have to use a weight at all. Okay, you can use a brush or a hoover shaft or something like that in this exercise. Keep the hands close to the body, lead up with the elbows, weight comes up under the chin. Ninth exercise is our arm pain, so back sitting down. Ideally, feet will come off the ground this time and arms are coming out. Okay, the further forward your bum is in the chair, the harder it'll be because you should be lying back slightly more. If it's too much for you, keep the feet on the floor. And just work with the arms. If you had any surgery or something up or uh, upper body, okay, extra pains, take the feet, take the arms out of it and just work the feet, okay, and engage that core. Tenth and last exercise is our star jumps. So we're stepping out to the side, same arm, same leg, okay, you come right above the head, or you come in that full star jump. Okay, so if you've been doing the videos before, you'll know your level, your speeds, take everything at your own level. Don't push through any pain, folks. If you need to take a breather, make sure you have some water on hand. Um, we're going to get warmed up now and get stuck in to the circuit. Before we begin the warm up, folks, if you want to put on some music, that's fine. Um, I'm going to start off by a nice gentle march on the spot as we normally do. Okay. And again, to start off with the march, get the arms going, the feet going. We'll build this into a jog on the spot if you wish. Okay, so nice and easy. Same, just nice rhythm. Okay, then slow it down, we're going to tap opposite hand to opposite knee. Okay, try to get that knee up as high as you can. If balance isn't good, folks, keep it nice and over the ground. Make sure you have a side of the wall so we can get our fingertips to it. Good. Do two more and we're flicking the heels up at the back. Try to flick the heels up and the hips. Bend up the knees, try to get them up as high again as we can. Too much for you, feet close to the floor. Brilliant, well done. Good, and we're going to do two more. We're going to relax the feet, okay? 
Come up with that ball now, pressure ball out. In, up and down. Out in, up and down. Nice and slow, one step. Stretching through the shoulders, pushing all the way out. Push all the way up. All the way out. All the way up. Good. One more above the head. And we're back into the march. So shake the arms. A wee bit quicker this time if we can. Or lift the knees a little bit higher. Good. Get the brain engaged now. Arms and legs together. Feet legs. Bicep curls. Good. Well done. That's it. Two arms. Opposite legs. Try not to think about it. We're going to do a couple more. And we're going to go to our skis. So it's time for you to want to go back a bit. Straight in. Arms out. Tapping out with the feet. Arms coming to the front. The same arm, same leg. Opposite sides. Or both arms. Good. Just keep the body moving. Get the heart rate up. Well done. Are you finished? Just do a couple more. And relax the feet. Okay. Up with that ball again. I did up down. This time I'm going a wee bit faster. Only if you can. Stick to your speed if it's too much. Hide in, up, down. Hide in, up, down. Good. Two more full ones. All the way out and up. All the way out and up. And relax the shoulder. Shake them out. Okay, down our stretches then. Step into the side. Leaning our weight out. Backs up nice and straight. Train track feet. Back up into the center, okay? Just change it over. Opposite leg goes out, leaning out the opposite side. Keep the eye on that knee and the toe. Okay, I'm going to go beyond the water. And back in. Good. Take a step forward then, or make. Back heel stay on the ground, push it forward through that front knee. Hands on the hips. Good. Change it over. Push the back heel into the floor. Arms up, one across the chest, arms and hands on the underneath. Just hold. And release it down. Opposite side, across the chest. And hold. Release it down. Okay. Up and over the top, if you can. Okay, it shouldn't be any pain through the stretches. Release it down. Opposite side, up and across. Hold. And release it down. Just shake it out. Okay, folks, that's just warmed up. We're going to get stuck into the circuit line. Remember, take as many breaks and breathe as you need. Stop the video if you need to. And make sure you have some water on hand. Let's get started. Okay, one minute on the clock. First exercise is there. Elbow to knee. Ready to go. In three, two, one. Away we go. Okay, so one minute on each exercise, folks. We're going straight in. To the next exercise once we finish this exercise. If you need to, take a breather. You can take 30 seconds, take a minute, whatever you need, or pause the video and catch up. Okay, as I said, you can do this one sitting in the chair. Okay, if our balance isn't good, just getting that knee up across the body and arms around. 30 seconds in. Good. Breathe in, go on. Keep trying to get that knee up. Same height each time. Cross the body. Control the breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. We're nearly finished. Three, two, one. Straight into the bicep curls. Shoulder press. Okay, remember we go above the head. Comfortable. If it's not, just stay here in bicep curls. Squeeze the elbows into the body. If you're using weights, squeeze the weights. Remember, you don't need to use weights. You can do this freehand. Go through the motion. But you have any range of movement issues in the shoulders, in the neck, or anything like that. Without weights, it's a good stretch for Sitting down 
trying to prepare. Make sure you're not sweating, core's engaged, spine's long and strong, back's nice and straight. Good. 10 seconds left. Two races. Finish in five seconds. Going into sit the stands next. Two, one. Well done. Sit the stands. Sitting down. Stand it up. Again, use your hands if you need to. Push up. Use your arm rest. Okay. Ideally, no hands. You can keep them on your thighs. You can keep them above your head. Make it harder. Some people add in a weight. Okay. Yeah, hold the weight to get up and down. Or put the weight above their head. Can you choose your level? You decide your speed. Good. Pushing up, drive down through those feet. Engaging the core as we come up, squeezing the glutes. Okay. Accelerating up. Controlling our descent as well. Not throwing ourselves back down into the chair. 20 seconds left.
three, two, one, end our upright row. Put your hands on whatever we're using. Again, you don't have to use anything. Lead up with the elbows through the body. Okay. As I said, you can use a brush or a mop. Okay, just holding the shaft of it that gives you that you hold the barbell, the weight, and the gym. Again, if you have any weights in the house, kettlebells, dumbbells, you can use those as well. Halfway. Control the breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Leading up the elbows to see them.
or likewise if you did the standing option the first time round and it's too much for you, okay? Baby steps, you can take a seat on this, this circuit, okay? Likewise, if some of the exercises are too hard, skip those ones out and take that minute as a break. Okay, you work the circuit in whatever way suits you. The second exercise we're going into is our bicep curls and our shoulder press. 15 seconds left of this, keep those knees up. Okay, if you find your weights too heavy in the last round, don't use the weights at all this time. Two, one, and two our bicep curls, shoulder press, curls, and press. Squeezing the elbows into the body, pushing right up with the arms. That's it. Slow and steady the way around too. If you're using bands, you care heavier weights, don't let Special like the band and pull you back down. Slow and steady up and down. Okay, 20 seconds left. Control the breathing. Core gauge. The cores are gauged. Okay, because the glutes tight. We're not sweating the back. Very nice and straight. Finishing in five seconds. Put in the lunges. Two and one. We're long your height. Okay, make your feet always have a good step, good distance between the feet. Okay, if we're too close to be step forward and our legs are in line, we'll be too wobbly. So good step. Train track feet. Okay. Step forward, coming down. Good. Backs up nice and straight. Core engaged. Using the chair if you need to for balance. 30 seconds left. Okay. Try to make sure that front knee isn't going too far over your toes. That's the thing about some slow and down. Make sure you're doing it right. Ten seconds left. One of our sit-ups next. Two and one. And do your sit ups. Okay, up nice and tall. Then breath back, exhale forward. Back's nice and straight. We've got a gap between our chin and our chest. We're looking forward. We're not throwing our head back as we come back. Okay, keep that neck nice and straight. Seconds left. Two nose out through the mouth. 20 seconds left. Go to the upper cuts and lateral waist next. Bit of boxing. Keep the feet on the floor. Good. We're finishing in three, two, one. Get four uppercuts, two lateral wins. Four uppercuts again, faster you go. Okay, the quicker the heart rate will increase. That's it, the harder you'll be working. Four swings, two raises. Try not to come too close to the face. Don't want to accept chins. Four up, two out. Good. Okay, keep our core engaged. Knees slightly bent, okay? Don't lock out the knees, have a good nice squash, um, squash dance. Two out. Ten seconds left. Three, four, and two. We're going to do our sit to stand next. We're finishing three, two, one. We're set to stand. Get back down onto the chair, up and down. Slow and steady, control that face set. Accelerate up, lower down. Accelerate up, lower down. Again, use your 
charms if you need to. exercises after this one. If you need to take a breather, there's 30 seconds left on the sit the stand. If you need to take a rest, just take a seat. Okay, and you catch us up on the next one.
bring in the breath, going nice and slow, just breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth as you roll the shoulders back, nice and slow, right up to the ears and down. Yeah, roll the shoulders back, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. Shake out the shoulders for me. Okay, come down to the legs, stepping forward, just lean your weight out to one side. Both toes are pointing forward, backs up nice and straight. Eyes are forward, good. Just hold it a little bit longer. Now we get in the warm up. And stepping back in. Okay, just change sides for me. Lean our weight out. This time, both feet, both heels are on the floor, pushing through the front knee, pushing hips through, driving that back heel into the floor. Well done. Stretch out those calves, find the Achilles and the ankles. And just change it over. And step forward, pushing through. Keep your back leg nice and straight. Well done, that's a circuit finish for today. Maybe you want to begin next. 